dental school, as much as you want to get into dental school in the United States, the dental school wants to accept you. Now, the challenge is there are a lot of dental students who wants to get into dental school. Now, in this video, we are going to be discussing how an international dentist trained in another country gets into a dental school in the United States. Now, we are in California. My office is in Northern California. My name is Dr. Paulos Arnold Palos, who lives in the San Francisco Bay Area. And we are practicing dentistry here for over 30 years. Many of our assistants have become dentists. Many of our assistants want to be in the dental profession. And so what I've done in our office is be able to help them get into dental school, help them in their journey into becoming a dental professional. Most of the dental assistant that I've had who wants to become a dentist struggles into getting into dental school for the first time. Now, what they have taught me is that they are wanting to go to the dental schools, but they are not understanding the requirements to get in. Now, I was telling them, before you apply to dental school, you want to make sure that all your credentials are in place. Make sure that all your scores are in that top percent. Everybody's going to apply. And then making sure that everything else around that just helps out the admissions office to make sure that they are picking you to be part of their class in the new dental school that is going to be opening up at the cycle that you're going to be applying to. Now, all the information that is needed to apply to dental school is very much available to all of us now. You know, we've got the smartphone, we've got the computers, we've got the tablets. These information is so readily, readily available to anybody. Now, the question becomes, what are you gonna do with that information? What are you gonna make sure that you do to strengthen your application to get into the dental school? The first thing that you have to do is make sure that you've decided that you are actually going to go and pursue this profession of dentistry. And then when you make that decision, where are you going to get your training? I'm talking about here in California, there are seven dental schools. Now, if I was to go ahead and look in my smartphone right here, it's so easy to figure out which dental school these guys are. And in here in California, there are, let me see, six of them who have an international dentist program, a dance standing program for foreign dentists to get into the dental school. The dental school accepts people from the United States when they're coming from the undergraduate level and then they get into a four-year program where in UOP they have a three-year program for the undergraduates. There are also programs, advanced standing programs for international dentists. Now, when you are in California, there are seven dental schools here in California. Six of these dental schools have advanced standing program. And we're talking about in Northern California, there are two dental schools that are accepting advanced standing program in San Francisco, the University of the Pacific, and also the University of California, San Francisco. Now, if you go to Southern California, now we're talking about four dental schools in Southern California. We're talking about UCLA, USC, Western, and Loma Linda University. California has a lot of dental schools. The United States have a lot of dental schools. In the United States, there's over 60 dental schools in the United States, but I think over 30 of them are accepting foreign dentists, getting into dental school and helping them achieve that journey of working towards being licensed here in the United States. That's two different things. You've got to go ahead and meet requirements to get into the dental schools. And after you get into the dental school, you've got to meet requirements to be able to take that licensing exam to get your license in a particular state. Now, we are talking about, and since we are in California, we are going to be talking about in this video, the dental schools in California, specifically the dental schools in Northern California, which is UCSF, 
and UOP. Now, if you could get into one of these schools in the United States, you've got a very good chance of getting into the other dental schools in the United States. But let's be specific here. I'm in California. Most of my uh, dental assistants and uh, dental professionals who wants to become a licensed dentist here in California is applying in California. And then so what they do is they apply in California and then they also apply to other schools, other states, and, and then try to figure out how they're gonna get back to California and practice here. So one of the things that you have to decide is, where are you gonna practice after you get your license in the United States? What state are you gonna practice in? And know that whatever dental school you are is gonna, it's gonna help you pass that exam to get your license in a particular state. And then there is a way to do this in multiple ways to get that license. But the first thing that you've got to do is make sure that you are getting into a program, an advanced standing program for foreign trained dentists so that they could go ahead and start applying to take that exam to get their license to practice dentistry in the United States. There are buckets of information out there and there are buckets of requirements that you've got to fill. So you have to know these information, gather them up, and then figure out how is the best way you could present this to a dental school so they could accept you. If you want to get into the dental school, you've got to make sure that you have the best GPA that you could get. You've got to make sure that you have the best test scores that you can get and then make sure that you put this all together, have a compelling story of why you want to become a dentist in the United States. There are things that you can do before you apply that will strengthen your application. There are things that you can do after you've gotten your scores, after you got your GPA to strengthen your application to get into the dental schools. Now that is what we do in this channel. So make sure that you are subscribing to our channel. Watch the videos that comes up next and make sure you subscribe for our next video. So we'll see you on the next video up here.